Hey, flying saucer! Hey, hey, flying saucer! Hey everyone, this is Jason from Dieter Von Bitmap. In the last tutorial, we covered how to cut out images to be used for photo, sh photo animation, uh, but the images had hard edges like my wife's leg here. What we're going to do today is talk about how to cut out an image that has a fuzzy edge like my dog Henry. So let's go ahead and get started. Henry's kind of a funny dog. He likes to stand on his hind legs quite a bit. So here's a picture of him standing on his hind legs. I took the, the picture against uh, one of the walls in our house here that happens to be bright red. Probably wasn't the best choice now. Um, when I think back on it, I made it a little bit harder to animate. But as you'll see, we can, we can actually cover this um, up pretty, pretty readily. So for photo uh, animation, uh, typically what you're going to do is take a photograph like this and cut it up into pieces. So rather than try to cut out Henry as a whole, what we're going to do is zero in and just look at his arm. And so what I've done here is, is just kind of zoomed in on his arm. And so this is the area that we're going to cut out. Now the interesting thing about this is that um, you know he's got a lot of fur on him. And in, when we were talking about how to cut out images that have a hard image, I told you get real close to the, the image itself, but don't go into it because we cleaned it up with the contour ed editor. In this particular case, you can actually be a little bit uh, you know sloppier with it, if you will, um, because what we're going to do is go back and fill in the image with um, uh, a special brush tool that I'll show you how to use later. So what I did is I just took the square marquee tool and again just very roughly selected that area. What I can do is do a copy and enter it into its own layer. The other thing that I like to do right away is put a another layer behind it uh, for some contrast. So what I'm going to do is just select the blue whoops, okay, select the paint bucket tool and just kind of fill that in. And so basically what we're going to do is have Henry's arm sitting on this blue background. Um, so the first step that I do is I just get the eraser tool. Um, in this particular case, you really can't use um, uh, the the uh, magic selection tool or the selection wand because there's too much of a, a similarity between his arm right here, this outline of his arm, and in the background, it just won't work. So the easiest thing to do is just use a, a uh, an eraser tool with with a tablet if you have one. Okay, what I've done now is just simply switched over to my Wacom tablet. I find it a little bit easier to do this sort of thing with the Wacom tablet. It's not something I had used um, at all previously. I started back, you know, two or three months ago. It takes a little while to get used to it, but once you get used to it, it's a great, great tool, and I would highly recommend it. Um, what we're going to do now is just grab a ba basic brush here and just start deleting the area around Henry's arm. So I'm just going to quickly do that. And again, the key here is you want to preserve the basic shape of what you want to ultimately animate. Um, but again, because we're going to go back and fill in with the fur tool, if you kind of accidentally cut into an area or there's an area in the photograph that's not clear, it's not that big of a deal. OK, so here's a rough cut. And then what we're going to do is zoom in a little bit more. One of the things that I need to definitely work on is uh, learning the shortcut tools for Photoshop. That's not one of the things I know. Uh, so while I use the Toon Boom Studio so much more that I know all those shortcuts, but uh, it would be handy to know those in in Photoshop. And again, I'm using Photoshop Element 6, which is you know quite an old version, but for our intents and purposes, it does a nice job. Next thing I do is just get in a little bit closer. Okay, again, the key thing that we're trying to do here is preserve the shape now because he's kind of like his arm is white and his body is white it's a little bit hard to see exactly where his uh, you know arm begins and ends but what we're going to try to do is get pretty close and you can see I kind of zoomed in here and actually cut off some of his hair on his elbow so this is actually his elbow right in this little space right here um, and I just kind of trimmed it off you can see his elbow actually follows this line right there and it's okay that we, we cut off that hair because essentially what we're going to do is come back and fill it in. So again, we're going to get that rough cut. And again, that red background wasn't something that really helped me out there. But uh, as you'll see, it really becomes a non-issue once we start uh, filling it back in with the hair tool. Okay, there's the rough cut. So what I do now is just shrink the brush down a little bit. And we're actually going to zoom in 
a little bit more and so we can get some of that, those details, especially around the paw. Let's just focus on that right now. Oops, that's a little bit too much. Okay, so I'm going to switch over that brush tool again. We'll make it smaller by hitting the, the parentheses key or the bracket key. And again, what I'm going to do is just go in there and kind of clean it up. And really what I'm trying to do is just get rid of the red in this particular case um, because we're going to go back and fill that in, as we said, with the other tool. And again, this does not have to be a beautiful. Again, this is not some sort of hard edge that we have to really worry about preserving. He's basically a furry dog with furry paws. And um, again, what you're trying to do is just preserve the basic outline. And again, I've got this pre-magnified, so I'm going to get in there pretty close. And the other thing I find that's pretty handy is if you blow up that tool a little bit, sometimes it's harder to get a nice, or easier to get a little bit of a nice edge in there and make it a little bit straighter. Now, in this particular case, we actually have his elbow that needs to be cut out. And then we'll go to the other side of his elbow. And again, you can see right here, his hair is uh, really fuzzy at that point. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and pull this up, the brush tool up. So I'm going to go ahead and just run the rest of this at uh, at fast speed, you can kind of get an idea of what I'm, I'm attempting to accomplish here. It's just kind of, again, cleaning that up. Sometimes it's a little bit easier if you just magnify this back up to kind of its normal size and maybe make the edge a little bit straighter. Again, use a little bit of a larger tool there. And again, because it's furry, it's not that big of a deal. But this is the basic shape. Maybe get rid of that red a little bit. And again, his uh, elbow is furry, so his actual arm is shaped more like that. And the rest of the things that we're seeing there is just his, um, you know, the fur from his elbow. So that's basically what it looks like. What we're going to do now is switch over to a different tool.